Hey guys, this is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. We are back again with another Power BI dashboard, another Power BI project and I hope you all are excited about it. I am excited as well. So let's get started. So a couple of weeks back when I was scrolling through my LinkedIn page, I got to know that there was a company called as Festman Learning Hub who was conducting some sort of Power BI dashboard contests. And uh, when, I gone, when I went through that particular post, I got to know that there were so many winners and many of them are Indians. So it's not like I'm promoting Indians or something like that. but. I came across one of the posts by a candidate called as Akshay Kamble. So he's already a part of my LinkedIn family. He's my LinkedIn connection as well. And from there, I got to know about his, uh, his entry in that particular contest. And when I looked at the uh, entry, I was really happy with the way he has actually created the dashboard. There were many other people as well who have done a good job. So the original link to these kind of posts, I will be also sharing in the description below. But this is the profile of Akshay. He has been working with Power BI since quite a long time. And I, I then started checking out his profile and I got to know that he has done a lot of Power BI dashboards. And when I saw his uh, this particular dashboard, I was really happy to see some of the KPIs, some of the slicers. They have been designed very well. And he is also using some, um, some sort of techniques. I will be talking about that. So overall, I like the website. I like the dashboard, uh, the way he has presented it. Of course, it's a beginner to intermediate level of uh, dashboard, but definitely a very good job by Akshay. So we'll be talking about this particular dashboard. So this is how the dashboard looks like. If you want to know the data, the data is basically e-commerce data. We have order ID, order uh, date, delivery date, customer ID, age, gender. A lot of information is there here. I'll definitely pass on this particular uh, data along with the Power BI file with you so that you can just uh, play around with it. And then some delivery status like returned or not returned, something like that. And you can see a very beautiful presentation of the dashboard. He has done a very good job here. And... Uh, a lot of KPIs, a lot of cards has been created. You can see this is basically a background image. If I show you, this is what the background image is being used by Akshay. And he has created this presentation or some sort of visualization in uh, probably Canva or Snappa or any kind of image editing tools. And then he's using that as a background image. So if you simply remove, remove this particular image, then uh, this is how it becomes, right? So let me add it back. So this is how it is. Now, I this this was his original entry, and I think one uh, if I would have worked on this particular dashboard, I would have probably made the background a little bit lighter so that. Uh, because lighter backgrounds are preferable and uh, that's also a best practice. So anyways, he has already done it. So that is the reason I'm increasing the transparency a little bit so that it looks better as compared to 0% transparency. And uh, yeah, I, I think other than that, everything is good. And uh, you can see a lot of things. He has used a lot of filters here, ear filter, gender, age location all these things are used as a filter and so many things these are some cards right you can see that he has created a lot of a uh, lot of uh, measures another feedback would be if i would have done i would have created the measures as part of a blank query so when we deal with power bi dashboards when we deal with power bi reports it's always recommended to create measures in a separate query so that you have all the measures in front of your eyes. You will not be able to search, oh, where are it? Where are it? Is it inside this data? Is it inside this calendar? 
it will be a mess if you look around that way so it's always recommended to have all the measures together so that is one um, pointer i would talk about to you know improvise the dashboard other than that this feature i really liked it he has used a scroller of course if you don't have a power bi pro account you will not be able to use it but you can get scrollers from the marketplace this is a certified uh, visualization that is being uh, provided by frederick hedenstrom <laughs> okay whatever it is so it's a certified uh, visualization and you can see that it's using category and revenue so a very good uh, piece of work which has been done by akshay a uh, lot of donut charts lot of uh, line charts and lot of uh, tabular uh, all these things and one good thing is that here for your revenue by products he is using a tooltip which is good the tooltip uh, functionality is uh, used I, i have already been talking about all these things that when it comes to power bi best practices you cannot have lot of information in one page you should always have multiple pages and use them as tool tips or drill throughs so it's good that he has used as tool tip of course if you don't know about tool tips it's as simple as a new report but when you create a new report you have to go to your formatting options your in your page information and tick it as a tool tip see if you just turn it off that means your tool tip will not be activated you can see if i click on this visualization go to my formatting options and go to tool tip you can see in pages i'm not able to see any page right if i go to my tool tip and then i change it to a tool tip in the report in the main visualization go to your visualization and here you will be able to see that page you can see it's done so a very good representation overall it's a good uh, use case it's a e-commerce dashboard people who are working for e-commerce websites or e-commerce domain and looking out for data analytics projects i think this is where you can take ideas from and a very good uh, oh, this one also is a very good feature it's again one of the visualizations called as ratings so overall a very good work a lot of advancements a lot of improvements is possible of course because there's always a room of improvement but overall it's a very good work by akshay uh i'll also be sharing his uh, profile link in the description below so that you can go through uh, his profile uh yeah i mean uh, that's all about this particular use case i will uh, share all the code details all the pbix file and the data set file in the description below i hope you liked it please like share and subscribe the channel i am coming up with a lot of uh, new topics as well some sort of machine learning projects and uh, uh, power bi projects as well and as i have already committed i'm already working on some statistics related uh, uh you know statistics related uh, playlist so everything is coming soon so that is all about today's class <laughs> i mean all about today's video i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe the channel thank you bye bye